Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we will explore the ribbon tabs of PTC Creo Parametric and discuss their function as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we can see we have already opened PTC Creo. Now let me click on new. Let's just go to our part environment. And as I said before, in this video, we will be exploring the ribbon tabs and we'll discuss their functions in detail. So let's quickly navigate to ribbon interface. In our last video, we had a quick overview on PTC Creo interface. In this video, we will be specifically talking about the ribbon. The ribbon based interface is one of very widely used and popular interface. The ribbon generally consists of tabs and in tabs, there are commands and those commands are arranged in groups based on their functionality. So let's start with our first tab, which is model tab. The model tab consists of the following groups. The first one is operations where we can see refresh or regenerate command, copy, paste and delete command available. There are further more tools available when we click here on bottom in operation. Similarly, we have another group known as get data where you will find tools that help you to create references or help you to import data from another models. Then we have a body here. You will find options such as Boolean operation, splitting body, creating new body and many more. Then we have this datum grouping, which contain construction features such as datum plane, point coordinate system and sketch as well. Then we have got this shape group where some of popular tools are extrude, revolve, sweep and swap blend. Then we have this engineering group where we have the modifiers which actually modify the existing feature like hole, round, chamfer, rev, cell and draft. Then we have this editing tab that contain tools like pattern, mirror, extend, project, remove, so here in editing, we can see all these tools are advanced tools and being utilized in part modeling as well as sheet metal and surfacing environment. Then we have got dedicated tools for surfacing, for example, boundary blend, fill, style, and we have got this freestyle tool, which I would say is completely non-parametric. So you can even work in completely non-parametric way utilizing this tool. Then we have got this component interface, which is useful when we want to create interface that help us to assemble the component easily during assembly. Now let me quickly close it. And now let's move on to our analysis tab. So here we can see again, we have got several tools available and these tools are again grouped based on their functionality, starting with analysis tool. So this one is the basic analysis that help you to analyze your feature that you have created in PTC Creo environment. You can even do analysis of non-native data by importing step or IGS file and can perform certain analysis. Then we have got this performance monitor. If let's say you want to perform analysis that help you to quickly perform repetitive analysis of similar kind of data. So you can simply save the analysis and can monitor their values quickly. Let me just close this. Now we have got this custom group where we can see um, some advanced analysis tool. And these tools are, you know, sometimes dependent on another software. For example, Excel analysis or MathCAD analysis or prime analysis or external analysis. All these tools or analysis are dependent on third party software. Then we have got this model report where we can see some of common type of analysis such as mass property sort as or 3D thickness, which is specifically useful in case of plastic product design. Then we have got this common measurement tool that help us to measure some of common parametric characteristics, for example, length, distance, dia, area, volume, and so on. Then we have got this query grouping where we can see the simulation probe. Then we have got this inspect geometry grouping where we can find some of fitment related tools such as pair clearance or 3D surfacing related tools such as curvature analysis, mesh surface, dehydral angle and so on. 
then we have got this design study grouping where we can see tools like sensitivity analysis dimension boundaries statistical design study even we have got this simulate analysis so these all tools are very useful in performing testing during design phase itself now let's click on live simulation tab so basically in this tab you will see some of FEA tool that are powered by ANSYS where you can perform live simulation and we can see result instantly. So here we can see we have you know different different groups available such as study where you can add simulation then you can define the kind of contact you have then you can apply constraint load and then you have a result or display option. Next is annotate tab annotate tab consists of the tools that help you to generate or add dimensions notes symbols and geometric tolerance to your model directly in 3d so you can utilize this capability and can generate different different views here you have got this multiple sheet option that help or enable you to create different different views directly in 3d itself so you do not need to create any 2d drawing you can directly create a drawing in 3d itself we will be covering this portion in later part of this course then we have got this tool tab which basically provide you four different types of groups the first one is investigate that will help you to diagnose your model by showing you bill of material by showing you model player that actually help you to see how the complicated geometry is formed step by step even you can see the reference and so on then we have got this model intent that will help you to define the relation define the parameter or even help you to create family part table if needed you also have an option like component interface which will help you to quickly assemble your part in assembly mode will help you to publish your geometry and so on then we have got this utility tab um, which have got some of specialized functionality like udf library where you can you know create a feature and can save it then you have this appearance manager that will help you to improve your feature performance you may able to simulate the real life appearance by applying the appropriate material then we have got some advanced functionality like augmented reality so here you will see all the tools related to augmented reality and believe me guys this is very easy to create augmented reality model inside ptc creo environment now coming to view tab here you can see it contains tools for controlling the display and orientation of your model such as it contains layer tree that you can enable or disable so let's say you want to use layer instead of model tree you can manipulate model with the help of layer tree as well then you have got some option that will help you to save your configuration permanently for example let's say you want to hide this particular feature and you can save the status so that next time you open the part it will come hidden the next grouping here we have appearance that's help you to define the scene define the environment set up the lightning condition the way you want set up the background and many more you can also define the material as we were discussing it before then we have got certain orientation based tool which will help you to orient the model the way you want it to be we also have some standard orientation like back bottom front top and you also have few options to play with orientation and you can also define your orientation then we have got this model display where you can create new section view based on the way you want then we have got this view manager that will help you to create different different kind of views based on your requirement the view manager itself can take one hour to explain so we will be covering view manager later on then we have got this display style that lets you to change the way you want to show your model so here you can see you have got different different types of display style that you will typically find in any 3d parametric software 
then we have got this perspective view which will create perception that the two line meets at infinity then here we have got this show group that will show or hide lot of features that are relevant to construction geometry then we have got this window option that have some windows related command for example activate close or switch window now the next step here we have got is flexible modeling so let's say you do not want to modify the model with the conventional way which is parametric way you can utilize flexible modeling by making certain or subtle adjustment that may cause failure of relationship between parent and child we're going to understand the parent child relationship in upcoming videos but for now i just wanted to let you know that you know you can play with your model you can make last time modification using flexible or direct modeling so these all are the tools that are related to direct modeling on the left these are selection tools then we have search tools then we have got tools with home you can perform some operation then we have got certain feature or characteristic recognition tool and we have got some few more tools then coming to application tab here you will find different different applications and based on your need you can go into different application for example here we have got this engineering group where we can see welding mold cast and generative design then we have got this simulation tool that help us to perform some basic simulation then we have got this math guide functionality gdnt customization and photorealistic rendering so that's all guys we have for this video in this video we have explored the all ribbon tabs in ptc crew parametric and discuss their functions in detail familiarizing yourself with ribbon tabs will help you to work efficiently in creo parametric thank you so much for watching this video if you have got any kind of questions or doubt in your mind please feel free to leave them in comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe to engineering pritam for more creo parametric tutorial see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye